In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AlNO33. This is potassium phosphate. This is aluminum nitrate. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. In this case, it looks like if we put a three here, we'll have three potassium atoms to balance these three. And then three times the nitrate, we have three nitrates here. So those are balanced. We have an aluminum here and here. Looks like everything is balanced. Here's a phosphate and here's the other phosphate. So we have our balanced molecular equation. Now we can write the states for each substance. Potassium compounds are very soluble. Even though phosphates in general are insoluble, potassium phosphate, that's gonna be soluble, aqueous. Then aluminum nitrate, nitrates are very soluble. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Potassium nitrate, that's going to be soluble. And then this phosphate here, we said phosphates in general are insoluble. Aluminum phosphate, that's insoluble. So when these two substances react, this will be a solid. It'll be a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube in a precipitation reaction. So we have the states for our net ionic equation. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and this will give us the complete ionic equation. On the periodic table, potassium's in group one, so that's gonna be one plus, and then phosphate, the whole ion, is three minus, good one to remember. Three potassium ions, and I won't write the states right now, let's write that at the end. Plus our phosphate ion, that's the PO4, three minus. Then aluminum, that's three plus. The nitrate, the whole thing, one minus, another good one to remember. So we have an aluminum ion at Al3 plus, and then we have three nitrate ions. So three of those nitrate ions there. Those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we plus and minus here. So three potassium ions, just like in the reactants, and three nitrate ions, also like the reactants, and then we do not split solids apart in net ionic equations. So we just have the AlPO4, aluminum phosphate. This is the complete ionic equation. At this point, we can cross out the spectator ions. We're on both sides of that complete ionic equation. In the reactants, I see there are three potassium ions. And here in the products, those are spectator ions. Get rid of those three nitrate ions right here, and in the products, again, three nitrates. We get rid of these, but what's left, that's the net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AlNO33. I'll clean it up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for potassium phosphate and aluminum nitrate. Note that charge is conserved. We have a three minus and a three plus. That adds up to zero, net charge of zero, over here, neutral compound, net charge of zero, and the atoms there balanced as well. Often you'll see the positive ion put first. It doesn't really matter. Maybe it looks a little bit nicer. That's it. This is the balanced net ionic equation for K3PO4 plus AlNO33. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.